15 deadly seconds outside a Grand Rapids nightclub captured on video. You're looking at the moment the gunman fired a bullet point blank, killing a man outside of the Metro Grand Rapids Club on Division. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples reports the club's owner called it an execution. She's here with a disturbing video now. Susan? The owner of Metro Grand Rapids, Joshua Sadowski, told us off camera he is devastated, shocked, and praying for the victim's family and an end to the violence. He also said it was clear the shooting was not random, as you said, described it as an execution. That's Jontel White, black coat, white hoodie, leaving the club with 10 seconds to live. Heading to the parking lot, he pivoted toward the street and walked out of frame. Then, from the direction of that parking lot, a man in black, heading straight for White, firing what appears to be three bullets. White, 30 years old with two daughters, dropped backwards, his head and shoulders hitting the sidewalk. Minutes later, shortly after 2 a.m., Deidre White's phone rang. It was one of her son Jontel's brothers. And he was like, did anybody call you yet? And I was like, for what? And he was like, they saying that Mookie, that was his nickname for the family. I, I gave him that when he was one. And he told me he got shot and he didn't make it. White didn't believe it. Not the son she had always held tight. He had had health problems as a baby, grew out of them, but he was always her special one. He was a gentle giant. He was sweet. He was kind. He was loving. He just didn't deserve this. White said John Tell had always wanted to belong, to fit in. I tried to get my son off the streets. Stop hanging in the streets, you know. Stop hanging at clubs, too, she told him. Metro Grand Rapids opened in July 2019. In December of that year, a man was shot and critically injured inside the club. More recently, last August, a man was shot and killed as he headed to Metro Grand Rapids, according to sources. He was two blocks south of the club on Division when police say two men shot and killed him. I just want people to stop the violence, put the guns down. Mothers are left to grieve, children growing up without fathers. This has to stop. The owner of Metro Grand Rapids, who declined to talk on camera, said there was nothing any of his staff could have done to prevent what happened outside the club. He says they do have strong security. Grand Rapids police tell me officers have a good working relationship with the owner and say he has been responsive and cooperative. No word on any suspects tonight, but if you know anything, you're asked to call police or silent observer.